not a pauper, but a king. In the spirit, I saw a believer dressed like a pauper. Their clothes were ragged, and in their hand was just a scrap of food. This is what the enemy had convinced them was their permanent condition in life, and they would never improve. But then Jesus stepped in and showed them who they really were in him. Beloved, come to the table in the Father's house, my child. You have a very special place here beside me. It is the king's table, and you are the king's royal heir. I have removed your sackcloth and given you beauty for ashes. You are wearing beautiful garments of salvation and my robe of righteousness. I have clothed you in king's robes. No longer eat beggar's food when I have laid out a feast for you. The Spirit is calling you, beloved. Come and the feast on the abundance of my house and drink from the river of delights. It is a glorious place that I have prepared for you, even in the presence of your enemies. I will feed you, dear one. I will sustain you. I am the bread of life. I am so much more than you have ever known or been taught. Take off the limits you have placed on me and on yourself. It's time for crazy faith. It is above and beyond faith. It is the faith of the Son of God who loved you and died for you. My kingdom belongs to you. I withhold no good thing from you, my child. My anointing is upon you. It overflows. So come and partake of all that I have for you. Sit down under my shadow with great delight, for I delight in you. My fruit shall be sweet on your tongue. It is a new day, beloved, for I have brought you to my banqueting house, and my banner over you is love. Psalm 36, 7 How precious is your loving kindness, O God, that the children of men take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house and you give them drink from your river of delights, for with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Galatians 2.20 I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. In the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Psalm 23.5 you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Song of Solomon 2.3 As the apple tree among the trees of the wood, so is my beloved among the sons. I sat down under his shadow with great delight, and his fruit was sweet to my taste. He brought me to the banqueting house, and his banner over me was love.